Parkinson's disease is, is usually a disease of the elderly but it can also affect young people uh, but mostly it's seen in uh, elderly above the age of 50 years. Regarding the symptoms of Parkinson's disease, the most uh, common symptom is the rest tremor. The rest tremor is a tremor which is char characterized by a tremor which has got a frequency of, of about 4 to 6 hertz. It is also called as pill rolling tremor. Pill rolling means just an alternate movement of the hand in the set frequency. When you see a Parkinson's disease patient coming through the door to the clinic, we can immediately spot the Parkinson's patient by his absence of classic hand movements, that is the associated movements of the hands. This is called as poverty of the movement or a canis. The next cardinal symptom of Parkinson's disease is the cogwheel rigidity. When I say cogwheel rigidity, this is a sort of rigidity of the limbs so that when you want to move the hand of the patient, you feel as though it is sort of staccato movements. We diagnose Parkinson's disease mainly by its clinical symptoms rather than any other sophisticated investigations. Just by hearing its history and examining the patient, we come to a diagnosis of Parkinson's disease. One other important early symptom which might be noticeable to the patient or to the relatives of the patient is the so-called micrographia. The patient would notice that his writing is very small, it's getting smaller and smaller compared to his previous handwriting and uh, he might find considerable difficulty in writing. This would be a very early symptom of Parkinson's disease. In fact, we have advanced treatment like vagal nerve stimulation and surgeries but overall in the end stage of the disease of Parkinson's disease it is more of a tender loving care rather than any definitive form of treatment and prevention of complications like infection, fall or injury. We take a pledge, we'll treat you well.